Today's School Library Media Specialist in a high need school plays an active role as a leader and an educator working in the center of learning. He or she is a teacher imparting valuable research and information literacy skills to students and working side by side as an instructional partner with classroom teachers in every aspect of the curriculum. She or he is an information specialist, an advocate for technological advancements and an encourager of lifelong learning for students and the community. In this video, you'll meet a number of what we often refer to as teacher librarians. You will see firsthand the opportunities these individuals seize to make a real difference in the communities and high-need schools they serve. If you are looking for some good reasons to enter this dynamic field, we've identified 10 of the best reasons to become a school library media specialist. Starting with the number 10 best reason. You are a person who loves challenge. In the job of school library media specialist, you will be challenged as you teach students who come from diverse backgrounds, have different learning styles, motivations, and needs. But these challenges do not come without rewards. A lot of our kids just don't have the kind of reading background that you would find in with children who are not in an urban school, uh, particularly a, a poverty level school like ours is. But uh, at the same time, it's, it presents challenges. It's also kind of exciting because sometimes you can be the one that introduces them to, um, to Madeline and to Curious George. And Later, you'll discover some tips for motivating reading, but now it's time to move on. The number nine best reason is you have the personality and creativity to make the library a supportive learning environment. If I had one word to describe this library, I would say it's freeing. Um, and the reason why I say that is because um, I see how the children react to the library when they come in. They do feel free. Um, I like coming to the library because it's a nice place. I can always come up here to the jungle room and read whenever I want by myself or with a couple of friends. She makes it nice and safe for everybody and it's always a nice place to come. This is a very safe place where students want to be. It's a very child-friendly place. It's a very friendly learning environment. You know, you're encouraged to learn and, and learning is fun, and it's, as it should be. We've made them feel that this is a very special place. Because and of that connection I feel to children and the love that I feel for them. That's why I became a librarian and a teacher. Freeing, safe, friendly, encouraging, fun, special, love and connection. These are words you just heard in describing a supportive learning environment. Some of them may describe you. But there is something else that could help you decide if you're right for the job. When I was looking at a, a, a career change, I took one of those personality tests to see what kind of a career you might fit into. And I was actually thinking about librarianship. Uh, one of the things that I was really surprised at is that people that, have, that come out with a high level of creativity tend to make the best school media specialist. So if you love children and being creative, this could be the job for you. This job allows me to express my creativity through storytelling, book talks, technology, projects, any number of ways. Time to move on. How do you feel about tradition? Because here comes the number eight best reason. You'll feel the pride of contributing to the long tradition of guiding children's reading experiences. Uh, I had an experience the other day where a kid came to me with a book that they were holding like it was the Bible. It was uh, actually a Dragon Ball Z book. And he said, Mrs. J, this is so good. I didn't even have to watch television last night because I was reading this book. Those are the kind of experiences that really make your day and make you really glad to be in this profession um, and in an urban city school. Rewarding, but also challenging. I believe we're in a reading crisis right now, especially in the cities. Um, Fraser being a K through eight, pre-K through eight actually, once you get past about fifth grade, most of the kids aren't even interested in looking on the shelves and finding a book to read. So motivating students to read is a huge 
dilemma that we face as library media specialists. In the library, we don't isolate reading. Reading is incorporated in all the subjects and in all the standards. Children should be taught not only to decode, but to integrate reading into everything. And that's the difference between teaching reading and integrating reading into the purpose of life. This research paper is going to take you back a hundred years ago. When you start reading, you won't want to stop reading. In the library, reading and research go hand in hand. Students practice reading as they identify information needs and locate, evaluate, and use the information they find. Skills collectively called information literacy. Later, we'll discuss more about information literacy and the National Information Literacy Standards published by the American Library Association. But first, are you curious about how the library media specialists you've just heard motivate their high-need students to read? Here are a few of their tips. A few of the tricks I use are book talks. If I can get them excited about a book that I'm excited about, they want it immediately. My problem then becomes I don't have enough copies of the book for all the students who want to read it. I like to combine reading with making iMovies. Also, when I'm purchasing books, I try to look for books in each of the different genres that span a variety of reading levels. Uh, showcasing the library, um, looking at uh, the different sections and letting kids know the kinds of information and knowledge that's available that they can check out. Another way is to get them in here as library workers because if they can work here and be surrounded by the books eventually they find something come across the desk that interests them. One way I motivate kids to read is by giving away free books donated by the community. I've given away about 1500 books in the past three months I give them for special events like the first time they come to library or Children's Book Week. third way that I like to, to motivate students is one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I talk with a student about what they might. And staying on top of the newest, most exciting literature that's out there is the best way to grab their attention and bring them in to read. They had lots more tips to offer, but once again, it's time to move on to the number seven best reason to become a library media specialist in a high-need school. You can see the walls of the library extending beyond the high-need school itself and into the community. I'd like to service the needs of our whole learning community and we have, with our student body and our staff and parents, we have almost 3,000 people who access our library. And sometimes I would like to just push out the walls so that we can make room for everybody. And those walls are being pushed out beyond the school library itself and into the neighborhoods by, for example, extending afternoon hours, offering summer programs, and encouraging parents to use and explore the library. The library is open for the parents too. We can come here and we have books for the parents too and we can go on the computer too. And Maxine and many other library media specialists we interviewed actively seek out ways they can help parents acquire library skills and practice reading. Maxine says they've even started coming to her with requests. They requested more workshops in technology, in reading aloud, in how to select um, literature for their children. Helping parents pays off as they are better equipped to help their children. I'm here just about every morning of the week. Sometimes I even come early to pick him up and I get on the internet, find things.